Now, about the completeness of the fossil record, if you look at the time of Darwin, Darwin still appealed uh, to the incompleteness of the fossil record to explain why the fossil record doesn't really fit with the predictions of his theory. But today, the uh, situation has greatly changed. We lo know a lot more. We know a lot more of localities from different eras, from different geographical locations, also of different groups of organisms. So meanwhile, the fossil record is pretty complete, and the reason why we know this is uh, something that is called the collector's curve. And the collector's curve, you can imagine, you have a kind of graph, and in this graph you have a horizontal axis, which is the effort you have to invest to find something new in terms of man hours or grant money or, or uh, energy. And in the vertical axis you have the discovered new stuff in the fossil record. And at the beginning you have a steep curve and you find a lot of new stuff with little invested energy or little invested money. But later the curve flattens and then you know that you have sampled uh, sufficiently what is out there to know uh, the stuff that is still lacking is not lacking because you have a gap of knowledge, but uh, because it's not out there. And this has been statistically tested over a lot of groups of different organisms and we know meanwhile that we have a pretty good complete fossil record about uh, the history of life. And if we compare the fossil record to the predictions of the theory of Darwinian evolution, then we find uh, still a big difference. So Darwinian evolution would predict uh, that uh, new body plants originate in a stepwise process, uh, with small changes adding up to big differences, but what we find in the fossil record is abrupt appearance in a kind of top-down pattern. Uh, new body plants uh, appear abruptly in the fossil record. We also do not find the required gradual species-to-species -species transitions. So the fossil record really uh, poses a problem for Darwinian evolution. Also, there's a difference if you look at molecular data, the datings do not match the actual fossil data. So uh, the fossil record is very complete and it doesn't agree with the predictions of Darwinian theory.